Praise the Lord. 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 Amen. We're thankful today once again to uh, be able to come out to the house of the Lord. Amen. To call upon his name. Amen. To uh, once again, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Call uh, upon his name and to be able to, amen, preach the word, as the scripture said, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort, amen, with all long suffering. The scripture tells us to do those things. Amen. We're here to do them today. Amen. So, amen, just a short message in the name of Jesus Christ. I, amen. Want the young man just to let you know where we are and then we'll go from there. You are listening to the services coming from the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. We are located at 612 Jefferson Avenue, Pottstown, PA, 19464. Our phone number is 610-326-2460. You can also visit our website on www.heeverliveth.org. www.heeverliveth.org. We now present the speaker, Elder Johnson. Hear ye him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As always, the scripture says in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission that is the removal of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you and to your children, and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord your God shall call. And with many other words, be testify and exalt, saying, Save yourselves from this unto all, that is, this hellbound. Uh, generation. Amen. I thank God today that we're able to come out into uh, his house. Amen. To call on his name. Amen. amen. Turn to me to uh, uh, First Peter uh, chapter 1. Amen. So First Peter and chapter 1. Amen. I want you to read uh, from uh, verse uh, 1. Amen. So First Peter and First Peter one verse one. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, yes. to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, yes. Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and yes. Bithynia, yes, yes, elect according to the foreknowledge of the God. What are they? Elect, elect Amen. according to the foreknowledge of God. Amen. The Father. Thank God. Read on. Through sanctification of the Spirit. Yes. Unto obedience. Unto obedience, yes. And sprinkling yes. of the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on, brother, talk about it. That's Acts chapter 2, chapter 2 verse 38. Without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. But read on, my brother. Grace unto you. Grace unto you. And peace be multiplied. Thank you. Read on. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. So 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 let's let's look at what Peter is saying. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Which according to his abundant mercy. Amen. That means somewhere along the line God looked at mankind and decided he wasn't going to destroy them. He was going to try and save them. Amen. And that uh, the sins that we had committed, he was going to forgive us for them. It's going to say, let the righteous, uh, let, let the unrighteous forsake his way. Uh, amen. And so God knew, amen, that he was going to, uh, he was going to save us one day. Uh, Genesis 3 verse 15 gives us the promise. Amen. When John saw him, John said, uh, behold, the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. So God knew he was going to do something for us. And here Peter is uh, speaking about it also when he says, according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope. Not a dead hope. Amen. But he said a lively hope. Now, uh, one might say, well, why would we want to spend time on this? Why, why is that of concern? Why would we even want to talk about it? Of a lively hope. What is a lively hope? Well, it means that there's a dead hope. Amen. A man has hope in, in, in you know, if we, if we were men with hope in this world only, that's a dead hope. Amen. If we were men with hope in this world only, we would of all men be most miserable. Why? If you don't have Jesus Christ, you've got nothing. And the scripture said, without me, you can do nothing. 
Amen. It means that, you know, a man can spend all his life building a life and still go to the grave. And when he's gone to the grave, everything he ever created, everything he ever earned or made is left behind. And by definition, he accomplished nothing. Amen. By definition, he accomplished nothing. He was in the world. Some might say, well, you know, that's a testimony. There's a plaque on the wall for this person or that person that was here one, once. But as all men do, they die. Amen. When they die, they go to the grave. And all the works of their hands are left behind them in this world. Amen. And so when you hear the scripture talking about a lively hope, amen, I'm blessed that I've got such a lively hope, that I have a hope uh, that, that make it not ashamed. Amen. It's a lively hope because uh, when I look forward to it, amen, if all I had to look forward to was this flesh I'm walking around in and the world I see outside, that would give me no hope. But if I have hope in Jesus Christ, he who came and died for me, then I have a lively hope. Amen. A hope that cannot die. Amen. That's alive in him forever. And so when Peter said uh, that has begotten us again unto a lively hope, the scripture says that all men are born in sin and shapen in iniquity. Amen. We're all born in sin. We're all shapen in iniquity. Amen. We're all set to die. But for Jesus Christ, even the scripture said it is appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment. Every single one of us is appointed to die. But after that comes the judgment. So we may sit down and say, well, you know what? Because most people today don't want God. Did you know the condition of the time you're living in? Mm -hmm. huh? Do you know the condition of the time you're living in? Mm -hmm. Amen. I want you to go to 2 Timothy chapter 4. Hold that scripture there. Hold Peter. And just turn quickly to 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 3. So 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 3. And hold Peter. Amen. For the time will come. For the time will come. When they will not endure sound doctrine. Well, when, when they will not endure sound doctrine. Now, that's the time you're living in. I want you to hold that uh, right there. I'm going to go to Amos 8. Amen. I'm going to go to Amos 8 and verse 11. Amen. I'm going to read Amos 8 and verse 11 for you. Because sometimes we forget the time we're living in. Amen. Don't you know we are living in the last days? Don't you know you're living in the last days? Don't you know there's nothing left? Amen. They're lying to you when they tell you, oh, oh, uh, 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 Jesus isn't coming. They're lying to you when they tell you the Lord is going to tarry. The scripture said that Jesus Christ said, behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. He said, behold, I come quickly. He never, he never said he's going to tarry. Amen. He's not going to tarry. He's going to come. Amen. He's going to come. He said, behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Behold, I come quickly. Amen. You better look for him today, tomorrow, the next day, next week. You better look for him every day you're living. Because Jesus could come that day. Jesus could come today. Amen. Behold, the days come. Listen. Amos 8 and verse 11. Behold, the days come. Now, when you see the word behold, it means you, you, you should stop whatever you're doing and pay attention. Behold. The days come, saith the Lord God. It wasn't just anybody talking. Some people like to put the scriptures down to men. Men didn't write the scripture. God did. Amen. All scriptures given by inspiration of God is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, instruction, and righteousness. The man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. This scripture you're looking at didn't come from man. It came from God. So when you see Amos talking, Amos was talking as the Spirit gave it utterance in him. And so Amos, through the Spirit of God talking, said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. He was writing on behalf of God, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine for bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Don't you know the time you're living in? The time you're living in now is a time when men have forgotten who God is. They don't want God anymore. Amen. They're too busy building a congregation, building the numbers. Amen. Spending more money on bigger buildings and bigger churches. 
Amen. Don't you know that building you're in condemns you to die? The building that you spend all that money on, it condemns you. Amen. That huge building you have and all that money you're spending on it. When people are dying, they're starving. Amen. They're undernourished. Amen. But you can spend all that money on that building. Amen. And you can justify it too. Millions spent on buildings. But go and look at the people. They built the natural, but they have neglected the spiritual. They built up the natural building. The natural building is, is, is a sight to behold. You go in and look at it, you say, my Lord, you're comfortable here. It's a sight to be home. But the people are lost. Amen. There are lots of people there because they love the building. It's comfortable. They can socialize there. But there's no Christ there. Amen. Don't you know he left you a long time ago? Amen. Jesus Christ left you a long time ago. Jesus Christ walked out on that stand that you have there. Amen, where you're living like dogs. Amen, where the standard is gone. Amen, you've got a beautiful building in the natural, but you've got nothing in the spiritual. Amen, your people are dying. Amen, look back and look at the roads that you've gone by. The people are strewn there. There are people lying there that died out of your assembly. Amen. They died years and years and years ago. And those that are left are still dead. They backslidden right there in the congregation, right under you. Backslidden right there. God left you, left your church, left that building, left you in it to do what you want to do. The scripture said that many of you traverse sea, you traverse land from nation to nation, place to place, and you give nothing to anybody. You, in fact, the scripture said that you make them twice the child of hell than you are. Why? Your doctrine is a lie. Your doctrine is a lie. I have asked the question, if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, if you don't believe in him, who do you pray to? Who do you pray through? No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, how are you saved? Who do you pray to? How do you get to God? He's not listening to you. But I'm hearing the words of the Lord. Man told me the New Testament is not scripture. Who do you live? Who do you believe? Who do you believe? Amen. Amen. So the New Testament is not scripture. Amen. It's not scripture. Amen. But I'm hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea. The people are traveling. They're searching for God. But they cannot find him. And they will not find him. Why? Listen. Just like in the days of Noah. Amen. You're back in the days of Noah. Jesus is coming soon. The people have forgotten him. He's when the Son of Man comes, shall he find faith? They have left the way of righteousness. They have made up their own way. They are living their own standard. They shall wander from sea to sea. And from north to the east, they shall run to and fro. To seek the word of the Lord shall not find it. They shall not find it. That's why they're searching for it. That's why you haven't got it. Because God hid it from you. We sing the song, Get Right With God. Come and do it now. Get right with God, he'll show you how. Down at the cross. Where he shed his blood. Get right. Get right. Get right with God. Man said that the New Testament is not scripture. Man said that Paul never received the revelation. Galatians 1 verse 11. I know it was Paul talking. But it was God speaking through Paul. Galatians chapter 1 and verse 11. But I certify 
What else can you need? What else can you look for? But I certify, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me, Paul was talking about what he preached back then. Paul was talking about the words that he spoke, the words that he preached, that which God gave him. It said, but I certify, brethren, he was talking to the church, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man, for I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it by, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Man said that Paul never received the revelation. You have a satanic doctrine. Amen. Your doctrine came from the devil. Amen. Let's go talk about the doctrine of devils. Amen. The doctrine of devils. Where men reject Jesus Christ. It talks about the Antichrist. It's already here. Amen. The Antichrist is here right now. They'll preach and deny Jesus Christ. Deny the very word of God which is spoken unto you. Let me go to Hebrews 4. Verse 14. Amen. Hebrews 4. Verse 14 speaks. Seeing then that we have a great high priest. Now he who seen one said, Wherefore, holy brethren, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Jesus Christ. Amen. And here it says, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. You can't let a man turn you off God. You've got to read the word. Read it for what it is. You've got to read it and stand by it. You've got to read it and live by it. You've got to read it and walk by it. What does it say? I'm but reading the word. Young man, I'm going to give you scriptures. I want you to go there. I want you to go to Colossians 3 and verse 1. I'm going to go through the word. I'm going to preach the word. Colossians 3 and verse 1. See, many people in the church don't believe the word of God. They're preaching it, but they don't believe it. That's why they deny it and say the New Testament is not scripture. Because they don't believe the word. Colossians 3 and verse 1. Read that loud, brother. If ye then be risen with Christ. If ye then be risen with Christ. Seek those things which are above. Seek those things which are above. Where which... Where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Where what? Where Christ sitteth. Where Christ sitteth. On the right hand. On the right hand. Of God. Amen. I didn't say God did. The word of God did. Go to Hebrews 9 and verse 24. Let's consolidate the word of God. Go to Hebrews 9 and verse 24. Read the word. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 24. Read the word aloud. For Christ is not entered. For Christ is not entered into the holy places. Into the holy places made with hands. That's you know that's the building you're standing in. But read on. Which are the figures of the true? Which are the figures of the true? But into heaven itself. But where? But into heaven itself. But where? Into heaven itself. That's what the scripture said. I want you to go to Ephesians one and verse twenty. Ephesians one and verse twenty. I want you to go to Ephesians 1 and verse 20. Read on. Which he wrought in Christ. Which he did what? Wrought in Christ. Read on. When he raised him from the dead. When he raised him from the dead, read on. And set him. At, at what? And set him. And set him where? At his own right at hand. At his own right hand. Well, read on. In the heavenly places. In the where? In the heavenly places. Read a little bit further. Far above all principalities. Far above all principalities. And power. That's who I believe in. That's who I pray to. If you don't believe it, I don't know who's answering your prayer. But I know one thing. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I want you to go to uh, 1 Corinthians 15. Before you go there, go to 1 Peter. Go back to 1 Peter chapter 3. Go back to 1 Peter chapter 3. 
Verse 21. Read aloud. The like figure. The like figure. Whereunto, whereunto even baptism even baptism doth also now doth also now save us save us not the putting away not the putting away of the filth of the flesh yes but the answer the answer of a good conscience of a good conscience toward God toward God by the resurrection by the what by the resurrection read on of Jesus Christ that's what it says read on who has gone into heaven who has done what Gone into heaven. Who's done what? Gone into heaven. Read on. And is on the right hand. And is on what? Is on the right hand. Read on. Of God. Of God. Go to Colossians. Go to uh, Colossians chapter 1. Go to Colossians chapter 1. Colossians 1. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 20. And having made peace. And having made peace. Through the blood of his cross. Through the blood of his cross. By him. By him. To reconcile. To reconcile. All things unto himself. All things unto himself. By him I say. By him I say. Whether they be things in earth. Whether they be things in earth. Or things in heaven. Or things in heaven. And you. And you. That were sometime alienated. Alienated. And enemies. And enemies. In your mind. In your mind. By wicked works. By wicked works. Yet now. Yet now. Has he reconciled. Has he reconciled. In the body. In the body. Of his flesh. Of his flesh. Read on. Through death. To death to present you to present you holy holy and unblameable and unblameable and unreprovable and unreprovable in his sight in his sight read on if you continue in the faith if you continue in the faith read on grounded yes settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard come on. And which was preached yes. to every creature which is under heaven. Stop there. Go to Hebrews 12. Verse 2. Hebrews 12, verse 2. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. The author and finisher. The author and finisher. Of our faith. Of our faith. Who for the joy, who for the joy that was set before that him, was set before him, endured the cross, endured the cross, despising the shame, despising the shame, and is set down, and is what set down, set down where at the right hand, at the right hand of the throne of, of God. the throne of God. Hold on now, how many have I given you? I've got more for you. Go to First Thessalonians four and verse six, sixteen. First Thessalonians four and verse sixteen. Rejoice evermore. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. In everything. In everything. Give thanks. Give thanks. For this is the will of God. For this is the will of God. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Concerning you. Concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Prove all things. Hold fast. Hold fast. That which is good. That which is good. Abstain, abstain from all appearance, from all appearance of evil. Of evil. Amen. Read on. Amen. One more. Go to go to First uh, Thessalonians one and verse ten. First Thessalonians one and verse ten. I've got more for you. First Thessalonians one and verse ten. Ye are witnesses. First Thessalonians one and verse ten. Oh, uh, and to wait for his son. And to wait. And to wait for his son. And to wait for his son. From heaven. From where? From heaven. Stop.